mtazamaji hujambo siasa za UDA zinaleta fichekesho kila siku ninapoamka na kuziangalia <clears throat> um, nilikuwa napitia siasa za Nandi ambazo zimemaliza nomination juzi na Alfred Ketel akashinda chama cha UDA akashinda tikiti ya chama cha UDA kwenda kuwania ubunge katika eneo la Nandi Hills before the nominations uh, we saw a lot of theatrics there were pictures and a few videos that accused the Kapsabet member of parliament Oscar Sudi and Kimilili member of parliament Didimas Baraza of their plot to rig the nomination election so that Alfred Keter can fail and it seems from my own analysis it seems that um, the Ruto guys were against Alfred Keter you know when Ruto guys were against Alfred Keter it means Ruto himself was against um, Alfred Keter now tuliona picha kwamba Oscar Sudi wameweka gari mafuta wanaenda kuhonga wapiga kura kwamba wasimpigie kura Alfred Keter lakini kura zikapigwa na ikasemekana kwamba kura zimepiwa za haki na ukweli Alfred Keter akashinda na akapewa tikiti ya kwenye ubunge katika chama cha UDA Alfred Ketel aliposhinda alipeana ujumbe wake katika vyombo vya habari akasimama na akasema kwamba mimi nimeshinda it was the will of the people and he abused Oscar Sudi Didmas Baraza and the Rudo Ali Sugu against his win akasema kwamba yeye hapangwi na watu wa Nandi hawapangwi na hawatachauliwa ni nani atakuwa rais Alfred Geter before joining UDA he was a critic of deputy president William Ruto na Alfred Geter is on record abusing Ruto as a seasoned thief I was watching a clip few years ago that he did in one of the functions i think it was a funeral and uh, alfred getter was powerfully and categorically saying that william ruto ni mtu ambaye ameiba kenya hii na akinunua ndege anaziandikisha kwa majina yake na kwamba si majina ya watu kutoka maeneo yale ama wa, uh, wale wananchi ambao anasema kwamba wanawapigania haki zao. He went on saying that if there is a person who is against deputy president is win as a president is Alfred Kiteri himself. He's on record. Now listen to this video. Mambo ya kuongelea 2022 sisi hatutaki. Yeah. Hatutaki mambo ya 2022. Na kwa hivyo tunasema kwa ufupi 3600 is not negotiable. Yes. That is the price that we want. Uchunguzi ifanywe, nyinyi mtuambie, saa hizi mmeelekea mpaka kule Kongo. Mnataka kupanda mahindi saidi ya ekari 1500, 500,000 acres mnalima ya mahindi. Alafu mnatuambia avocado. Hata avocado tumejua mnatengeneza factory kule eh, Botswana. Mnatengeneza factory ya kutengeneza mambo ya avocado kule eh, Botswana na mnataka kuangaizi ama kukandamiza wa wakulima shida zetu mingi ya mahindi ya fertilizer na hii mambo yote imeletwa na mheshimiwa naibu rais na ofisi yake tunataka ofisi yake ichunguzwe wale wote waliimport mahindi kutoka ngambo watuambie mbona waliimport mahindi ile fertilizer ambayo mumeleta mumefuruka bei tunajua mabroka ambao walilipwa badala ya mkulima kulipwa wakalipa mabroka yeah that is alfred keter speaking with a lot of bitterness I can't tell mahali walikosania na Ruto I can't tell them before Now he has been a member of parliament in 2022 because UDA is a party that has taken root in Rift Valley 
akasema sasa nataka kuwania kiti katika chama cha UDA akaingia UDA wakati aliingia UDA mbali na kumtukana William Ruto katika siku ambazo zimepita he ignored the red alerts red alerts means you know when you ignore people and went to join them when you need help especially in politics they brand you as a mole what am i trying to say when alfred gate used to abuse ruto that is when he was a member of parliament and by then uchaguzi ilikuwa mbali yani alikuwa anaona kwamba 2022 is a bit far now what he did akaona kwamba kura ndio hizo na chama ambacho wananchi wamekipenda sana katika uh, Rift Valley ni chama cha UDA so he joined Ruto and they started singing Sipangwingwi there came nominations wananchi wakapiga kura akashinda kiti now you know Oscar Sudi and Didmas Baraza they are very very close allies to deputy president William Ruto when Alfred Keter insulted Oscar Sudi and Didmas Baraza it literally meant to me that he insulted the deputy president himself why because Oscar Sudi comes from Rift Valley a close ally to deputy president William Ruto and being there during the nomination it means he had orders from above he had orders from william ruto it seems they never wanted him so wakati alishinda that pride itself yani yale maringo ile kujipiga kifua hmm? yani alikuwa anajipiga kifua alikuwa, can we listen can we watch what what he said immediately after winning the nomination this is his words nataka <laughs> niseme chama chetu ya UDA tunaopenda lakini sisi atupangwingwi sisi atupangwingwi sisi atupangwingwi una pangongo sisi atupangwingwi kwa hiyo mengi ambayo nimesema Mwenyezi Mungu awasaidie atusaidie wote Yes. Hivyo ndiye alikuwa anajipiga kifua. Yaani aliona kwamba amewin ticket ndio and he has won this seat as a member of parliament. Aliona hivyo. Little did he know that pride becomes before a fall. Ni kama Ruto alienda kupiga hesabu Nairobi akaona huyu jamaa akishinda na ende bunge na alikuwa ananitukana miaka ambayo imepita this guy will turn against me badly yani Ruto aliona aliona ile kiburi eh yani anaambia Kinoska Sudi kuna kitu mnanifanyia mimi amwe si nipanga there's nothing you are telling me wanaenji ndio kusema Ruto akaangalia akasema hapana huyu kijana huyu huyu kijana ambaye hana hata ndevu huyu <laughs> Ak, nikimpatia tikiti naende bunge huyu akishinda because he used to abuse me a thief he used to abuse me and he was against my candidate as the president huyu jamaa akiingia bunge he will turn against me and i will look stupid what ruto did you know the board nullified the nomination exercise sasa alfred keter amepangwa zaidi Jamaa baya alisema hapangwi sasa amepangwa I think he might go independent because already a ticket has been given out na sasa amebaki partless I don't know whether he will join as mio or go as independent You know let me tell you Kuna ujinga sisi vijana tuko nao There's some stupidity in us Yani we tend to ignore the elders how do you abuse how do, for heaven's sake you know when you abuse oscar sudi you abuse ruto when you abuse 
the electoral board of UDA, you have abused Ruto himself. Because those guys, they pick orders from the deputy president, William Ruto. So, who jamanga chukua ticket na anyamaze tu? Because he knows he's a stranger in UDA. He knew very well, he's a stranger in UDA. Ange chukua ile ticket, haingie kwa nyumba, anyamaze, angoje uchaguzi. Lakini kierere yake ya kuta kuwajesha wadu kwa mba na hei, hei. Ame mea ndevu na ye sasa yupo. He eh? can shake William Ruto. He can shake UDA. And he, he can abuse uh, 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 the deep state of UDA and walk scot free. I hope where he is now he knows what Oscar Sudi can do in UDA. But I wish him the very best. Maybe if I was him. Because he was a stranger in UDA. Mimi ninge kuwa yeye. Ninge chukua tiketi. Ninyama ukienda katika mji wa mtu. And you know you are a guest and a stranger. Una wachanga kierere ya kuongeza wa addition kwa chakuna. Una wacha kierere wa. Usiende kwa mtu. We ni mugeni. We ni unasema. He. Hey, he. Hey, chakuna imekelewa. Nini ya mwripangi. Rede chakuna. He. 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 Alisema hata pangwa, na sasa mepangwa, and we shall see how it will go. Mm, we shall see. But then, to me, he's a strong man. If he goes independent, he might still win. He's a very strong man and a very sober man. But then, aende, aende ingie kwa nyumba, atoe umaringo kidogo. Mm. Alfred Ketel is a sober politician. He is sober Young, sober, energetic, and powerful. Somebody who looks like he cannot be swayed by uh, some dubious means and some people. Now what he does, aenda chini ya kai kidogo, uh, afikirie, aingia bedroom, ajifungia, ajifunika blangeti, atoe nguo yote, alale, aote maratatu, ata ujinga kidogo kwa akili. Ujinga, ujinga ya maringo na kupika kifua. Mm. Siasa, siasa you... you, you Uwezi jipigia wenyewe kifua. Wenye pati, you, you can't. So hile ujinga, enda atoe kidogo. Next time, you will be a super politician. See you ladies and gentlemen in my next video.